fractures of both bones of uh, the leg. This is uh, a common condition. A common condition suspected in any severe trauma. Sure, the etiology as usual is mainly trauma. The trauma may be direct trauma. And if there is a direct trauma, this leads to transverse fracture or comminuted fracture in tibia and fibula at the same level. The trauma may be indirect due to action and the counteraction. Example to indirect trauma, falling from a height following from a height or severe twisting trauma. In this case, the tibia is fractured at the weakest point. The weakest point is the most thin part of the bone. The most thin part of the bone is usually this, which is fracture lower third of tibia. This is the thinnest part, weakest part of tibia. And this indirect trauma leading to fracture of fibula at the weakest area, which is fracture upper third of fibula, especially neck of fibula. Neck of fibula, which is related to common fibular nerve and this may lead to injury of common fibular nerve. Um, what is uh, the complication of this fracture? As general principles of fractures, but the commonest complication are we all know that uh, the medial surface of tibia and the anterior border of tibia, which is called the chin of tibia. These areas of tibias of tibia subcutaneous. Therefore, usually trauma leading to compound fracture. Compound fracture with skin loss. This is the commonest complication and the most serious complication. Why serious? if the fracture hematoma becomes connected with the external environment. This means liability for infection. And sure, we all know infection may lead to osteomyelitis and non-union. Delayed union and non-union uh, is very common due to two factors. First factor is introduction of infection in compound fractures. The second factor is the vascularity of tibia is poor vascularity. Why? Large part of tibia is subcutaneous, not surrounded by muscle. We all know that most of the bones to take their blood supply from the surrounding muscles and the large part of tibia not surrounded by muscles, subcutaneous, therefore the tibia has poor vascularity, which delay union of the fractures. Also, uh, malunion is suspected. Why malunion is suspected? Because there is usually severe deformity with overriding. Why severe deformity with overriding? due to strong surrounding muscles, gastrocnemius, soleus, all these muscles are powerful muscles, leading to severe shortening with overriding, uh, riding, which bridges both to male union. If male union occurs, this leads to disturbance of body weight transmission on the knee and on the ankle, leading to, leading to osteoarthritis of knee and ankle. Also, compartment syndrome. 
due to edema or hemor and hemorrhage inside closed facial compartment in the leg. This may lead to compartment syndrome, which predisposes to acute ischemia and may lead to gangrene. What is the clinical picture of uh, fracture uh, tibia and fibula? As general principle, the fracture history of trauma followed by severe pain, swelling, tenderness, etc. The deformity here we suspect severe angulation, severe overriding with marked deformity due to a strong surrounding muscle spasm. What is uh, the investigation uh, of this uh, fracture? As usual, Berlin X ray. Berlin X ray will show the fracture and the level of the fracture. Uh, what is your opinion? Is uh, this case is uh, suspected to direct or indirect trauma? Here is a fracture in tibia and fibula at the same level. Therefore, it is due to direct trauma. If uh, due to indirect trauma, it will be fracture here in tibia, lower third of tibia, and the fracture upper third of shaft of fibula, especially here in the neck of fibula. Um, what is the treatment of this condition? Sure, as general principles, this is usually a major trauma. A, B, C, D, E plus uh, treatment of the fracture here. If simple fracture, if simple fracture and is stable, if simple fracture and the condition is stable, the condition is very easy to to treat this case by closed reduction. Just for uh, understanding, closed reduction of fracture fibula, the patient uh, tibia and fibula, the patient will uh, sleep uh, lysobine on a table with the, leg, with the leg hanging down and traction is applied on the leg. Where is the counter traction? The counter traction will be by the table in opposite direction. Um, after closed reduction, uh, we uh, fix the patient in above knee cast for about eight to ten weeks. Um, this carry uh, a disadvantage of prolonged bed rest, which predisposes to complication of prolonged bed rest. In unstable uh, fractures, if simple unstable fractures, there are options. What is the option? This is the first option. We insert steam man bin in the calcaneus or distal tibia, and from a steam man bin arise a rope. And at the end of the week, there is suitable weight. This method sure is called skeletal traction. Uh, but uh, the disadvantage is prolonged bed rest. Sure, the best is the best is open reduction and internal fixation. The best is open reduction and the internal fixation so that the patient can move early to avoid complication of prolonged bed rest. The option which uh, can be used to allow early mobilization of the patient is this. Open reduction and internal fixation with intramedullary nail. Sure, under radiological control, we introduce a guiding wire from the proximal to the distal fragments, then along the guiding wire we introduce the intramedullary nail. To avoid the rotation of the nail, sure at the end of the operation we insert locking 
screws to avoid the rotation of the bone and the nails. This is the best option to allow air mobilization of the patient. This is the second option. Over reduction and internal fixation by blade and the screws. But uh, blade and the screws has this advantage. With bearing is delayed until the fracture is completely healed and unite, which lead also to some sort of prolonged rest. Um, sure, don't never forget that compound fracture is the commonest complication in this patient, and therefore we should mention in full detail treatment of compound fracture as we take before in the general principles of fracture which is sure is this method fixation by external skeletal fixator this is uh, the fracture uh, both bones of leg thank you for good listening and good luck